Hey everybody, welcome to another episode. This one's going to be short and it's a little different than what we've done before. Picture your favorite bands and picture them breaking up for whatever reason. It can be something serious, it can be something stupid. There just seems to be a lot of it and nowadays it just seems to be stupid. Um, You know, in the past we've had the Eagles... The Beatles, The Clash, they've all broken up. And the common denominator there is they're not ever going to get back together for obvious reasons. You've got members that are no longer with us. So we can never get that back. Uh, great example, one of my favorite bands, Led Zeppelin. Once Bonzo died, it was over. They called it a day. I get that. But reeling it in further to modern times, um, particularly Van Halen and Hall and & Oates. And if you guys are familiar with Hall & Oates, you know that uh, they are feuding right now. And it's the stupidest thing. I mean, yes, I know a lot of people fight over money. But at the end of the day... You've been together for decades, decades. You've been together longer now than you've been apart before you formed. You, it makes no sense. Egos of these celebrities are so huge. And if you're a millionaire a hundred times over, how much more money do you need? What is the point? You're grown men. It's time to get your shit together. Put aside your differences and do what you do best before it's too late, before you can't get it back, like the aforementioned bands that I talked about previously. Now, I know it's not all the same across the board, We've gotten some bands that have gotten back together and were able to put aside their differences. Even if we didn't get any new music, they toured together. Uh, Guns N' Roses is a good example. Another one of my favorite bands, The Police. Great example. They put their differences aside and they finally gave us a farewell tour. Loved it. That's what we need in the world. You know, do your job. Do what you love. Do what we love to see you do. Now I'm looking at you, Van Halen. They're in the news, too. Sammy has taken it upon himself and saying, hey, we've had a couple years now. Nobody's wanted to do it. I'm going to do it. He calls it the best of all worlds tour, where he's going to be doing Van Halen songs from the past, his past, as well as David Lee Roth's past. And he's even mentioned, hey, Alex, Wolfie, Dave, come on board. Do a few shows with us. Dave has said that he will join them. Now, this is this remains to be seen. It really does. But at least he's setting himself up to get this done. He's inviting everyone else. Now... Before you guys comment, I do understand why Alex won't do it. Alex has been right there with Eddie from the beginning. And to lose Eddie, I get it. That's devastating. It really is. And I can see him not wanting to ever play live again. If that's the case, so be it. But if it's just because of a longstanding feud, grow a pair. Suck it up. Do what you do best. Give the people what they want. Give the people what they've wanted for years now. Hell, bring Gary Sharon. He's done a few Van Halen songs. Bring other guitarists. You need multiple guitarists on this tour. Anybody who plays guitar, I, I, I believe Nuno Betancourt would be good for this. Uh, comment if you agree. He is a very, very big Eddie Van Halen fan. You need multiple guitarists to pull this off anyway because it takes several to equal one Eddie. 
Are we all in agreement on that? But the point is, he's doing this, talking about Sammy, and he's giving us what we want. For whatever reasons, whatever motives he might have, it's still what we want. And you can be a Van Halen fan of David. You could be a fan of Sammy or both like I am. But we're finally going to get, for lack of a better word, some closure for us. And I think it would be good for the band members as well. Now, I say this because, and this whole video boils down to this. Whether we want it or not, when I say it's good for the band, do it before it's too late. Do it before you can't get that time back. I strongly believe that Pink Floyd should put their differences aside. You're too old, guys. You're too old to be feuding. You're too old to talk about one another. You made beautiful music before. Why can't you do it again? Get rid of the egos. And in closing, while I'm talking about egos, I'm looking at you, Noel and Liam Gallagher. There is no reason Oasis should not be together anymore. Oasis needs to get back together because you are clearly stronger together than you are apart. And I think everybody can agree on that. If you do, leave me a thumbs up in those comments. Now, I'm going to get off my soapbox. I told you this would be short. But I want you guys to do me a favor. Not only leave me a like, but comment below and tell me your favorite band that broke up that you would love to see together again. All right, I'm getting out of here. You guys stay positive, stay blessed, and I'll be back soon in another video.